Welcome back to FSD TV. I'm your host, Mark Sunny, and today we have Megan Anderson with us, who's gonna show us how to understand the main idea of a text. So Megan, show us how. Hi, FSD readers. I'm Megan Anderson, and I teach first grade at Valencia Park. I'm so excited to be able to read with you today. And after we read, we are going to focus on understanding what the central message of the story is by retelling the key details. So this is a great way that we can work on our comprehension. Remember, comprehension is remembering what we read. So before we get into our story for today, I um, want you all to just hold up your hand. All you'll need to practice this with me is your hand and uh, your favorite story. So let's think of our whole hand as the central message. So what the whole story is about. Now everybody wiggle those fingers. Your fingers are the key details of the story. So after I read, we're going to talk about this story and retell those key details to find our central message. Let's get started. The story I'm reading today is Ish by Peter, Peter Reynolds, and I'm reading it today with permission from Candlewick Press. Raymond loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? He asked. Raymond could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months, and many crumbled sheets of paper. Raymond put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Raymond sneered. I'm not drawing, go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumbled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumbled gallery. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish she exclaimed. Vase it? Vacious? Raymond looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Raymond felt light and energized. Thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt. Loose lines, quick quickly springing out without worry. Raymond once again drew and drew the world around him. Making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals. Tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish. Raymond realized he could draw ish feelings too. Peace-ish, Silly-ish, excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. One spring morning, Raymond had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. Now, what a great story. To better understand what we read, let's practice retelling key details to figure out the central message. To start, Raymond loved drawing, but 
he never thought they looked right. So he gave up. But then he saw that his little sister really liked his drawings and she thought of a new way to think of them as ish or close to or sort of drawings. This helped Raymond um, feel like he could draw anything because he wasn't trying to make it perfect and he enjoyed art again. So thinking about those key details, what could the central message be? I think the central message from the story ish is that it is okay to not be perfect as long as you're trying your best and doing something that you love. So today we practice with this story. I hope that you are reading at home and can practice this with the stories that you enjoy reading too. Have a great time reading. Thank you, Megan, for showing us how to understand the central message or theme of a text. It was a great lesson. On behalf of everyone here at the FSD TV studio, my name is Mark Sunny, and we'll be back again tomorrow.